Hello my friends and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you five different types of buttons that you can use them in your project using Jetpack Compose. Uh, and in the next videos I'm going to show you how to customize them and how to use the uh, clickable option of any button. So be with me in this video and uh, I will show you. But before that uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and give me a thumbs up for this video and also uh, hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos let's get started here i have the same structure as the previous videos let's start with adding a column here uh, we need a modifier okay uh, if you don't know what is the column don't worry uh, you can find the uh, link of the full playlist of the jetpack compost i mean the previous videos down below in the description and uh, i have a video about the column and all of the videos that are uh, related to this video are linked down below in the description so watch those videos and then come back here. Okay. Uh, fill max size with the padding. Uh, this blue frame inside is now my color with the padding. And here now I'm going to Add the vertical arrangement Arrangement Dot spaced by 25 dot dps And horizontal alignment alignment center horizontal uh, now i want to add the buttons here uh, between these two brackets in my column so uh, i have set uh, 25 dp space between the buttons vertically and all of them will be located horizontal center in the middle of the screen let's start with adding a simple button button it has by default down click and i can add a text inside it and uh, with this text okay here is my button and you can see the area around it uh, as you see the simple button in the jetpack compose now have the rounded corner shape like this but don't worry we can change uh, the view of this button and in the next videos i will show you how to customize them uh, now let's uh, just see the different types of buttons the first button was uh, filled uh, button let's say because all of the area is filled by the color and now we can have a button like that with the uh, uh, outline the same we can add a text inside it okay now let's add the next button uh, 
the next button can be the icon button uh, in the icon button we need an icon and we can add the default icon library of the jetpack compose by writing this icon and here null or any type of a string even empty string works here in the content description here i don't need this painter but i'm going to use image vector inside the image vector i need icons dot outlined or field uh, no matter we can use field then this is the library of buttons you can add any of them so let's add this face and now you can see that we have it here uh, if you hold the mouse on the icon you can see that we can add the modifier for the icon and also the tint to change the color of it so let's check it color that red and modifier Uh, then we can use the size to customize the size of the icon but we have a default size for the buttons and uh, it's better to use that size uh, for the icons that are used inside the buttons it will be like that button defaults dot uh, icon size and this is the default size of the icon when we are using it inside uh, a button or as a button then we can use a text button the text button is like the text view in the android uh, classical system uh, it's just a test text with the function on click and we can click on it and use it as a button so clearly we need a text and i'm going to call it text button like this and also we can add the, the icon also here in this so i'm going to copy this and paste it here and you can see that i have the icon here as well let me change the icon favorite and it's like here uh, but uh, as you can see the icon and the text are touching each other so if you want having uh, a space between these two we can use the widget spacer uh, it has a modifier and inside the modifier we can use modifier dot size and again button defaults dot uh, icon spacing and this is also a default spacing uh, for the icons between the icon and text uh, when we are using them in the button and you can see it here okay this is the spacer and uh, if you want 
uh, you can change the position of the text and uh, the icon so i can have uh, the text here down below then a spacer between the icon and the text and the position will be changed now you can see that the heart is in the left side and the text is in the right side okay uh, the other thing that i can use is uh, again a normal button uh, with the text and the text can be add and uh, i can add icon here and also the spacer and i'm changing the color to white and here is my button the last one so if i want to have icon uh, on the simple button it's possible and i can use it just like that the simple button the icon a spacer and the text and we have good looking uh, buttons here so i think that's enough for this video and as i said in the next videos i am going to show you how to customize them and how to use the buttons thank you very much for your time thank you very much for your great support welcome to the new subscribers and uh, if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it right now hit the subscribe button hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos and give me a thumbs up for this video thank you very much have a good time bye bye